Thank you, Congressman Tim Burchett, a member of the House Oversight Committee. Congressman, it's good to see you this morning. Thanks very much. First on you, Alejandro Maria. Mayorkas, how do you see things? What happened? I mean, here's the guy who's been telling us that the U.S. has operational control over the border for three years and that the border is secure. Well, you know, we had one, we're a one uh, person majority. The former speaker decided to quit early to go lobby. And then um, Steve Scalise is out with cancer, of course, having cancer treatment. And we expect him back next week very bravely. Um, I, you know, it's and the Democrats brought in one person on a wheelchair apparently that had been real sick. So it was just it, we're down to a one person majority, Maria, and that's what it, that's what you're going to be dealing with from here on out on major votes. Um, I think we're going to be okay. Blake Moore, my Sigma Chi fraternity brother, bravely voted against it, switched his vote so that, in fact, he can bring it up next week in a procedural move. So I think we're going to be okay. I think when also when folks go home, they're going to, I suspect their constituents are going to light them up like the 4th of July, and they're going to be, they're going to be raring to get back and vote on this thing. Uh, my orcas, he lied to us. There's no question. I mean, when the guy repeatedly says there's no problem at the border, and then yesterday, if you caught the president, he even said that we've got a problem at the border. And, um, and then he falsely blames Republicans when, in fact, the Democrats had control. And we've sent House uh, H.R. 2 over to the Senate, right. and they, they choose not to do anything with it. it it's a joke. I think what's really going to—what this will show is, is that the, on the elections, I think it gives people a reason to get to the polls. When we've had this invasion of over 8 million people yeah. in the last three years, it's costing us $400 billion a year. You understand that? Yes. Um, just to keep these people up, and we're not even talking about— the illegal drug traffic and, of course, the human trafficking yeah. aspect, the 100,000 children that, that are lost in the system, and God knows what hell they're in. Yeah, that's right. I mean, look, I, I, I guess what I was questioning was why the Senate thought that anybody wanted them to come up with some gargantuan immigration policy jammed into the schedule during an election year, <laughs> when, in fact, the Republicans' priority was very simple, secure the border. That's it. Secure the border. No one was asking for this massive new immigration reform package that you all were going to jam into the schedule during an election year. You just wanted the border secure. So what is going on with some of your colleagues who voted against this? Uh, for example, Mike Gallagher, who is the head of the China Select Committee, knows darn well all the Chinese nationals that are coming through the border and, and, and creating havoc in America. And then there's California Congressman Tom McClintock, defending his decision against impeaching Mayorkas. Listen to this. Secretary Mayorkas is guilty of maladministration of our immigration laws on a cosmic scale. But we know that's not grounds for impeachment because the American founders specifically rejected it. They didn't want political disputes to become impeachments. This border crisis can't be fixed by replacing one left-wing official with another. Well, I mean, uh, Congressman, I want to get your take on this, because he's talking about process. Should we be focused on process when 8 to 10 million illegals are in this country on Joe Biden's watch, fentanyl killing American citizens, women and children getting raped on their way here? What are you going to do, just continue all of this and so, until, until the process is the way he wants it? Well, Tom McClintock's a very independent person, but he is in California, Maria, and I would agree with you. We ought to run you for our Republican chairman and not who we have now. I mean, you, you, you understand it a lot better than most. But, but the truth is, is that, is that we've got a real problem. And, and the grounds for removal is lying, lying under oath. Remember, that's what they got Nixon for. That's what they impeached Nixon for. So lying under oath is completely 100 percent grounds for removal. When you say we don't have a problem at the border, our border is secure, you are a liar. And it's, a, it's at the point of pathological with this guy. Uh, he's a, he, well, maybe we will replace a, another left wing with another left winger. But the truth is, the American public are demanding it, and we can't afford this anymore. The 400 billion, the deaths, the deaths in my community, the fentanyl that comes through. I met with a mother last week. I went to high school with her, and her dear little son overdosed on fentanyl, unbeknownst to himself, and unbeknownst to what he was taking. So, and and, and I met with the. Um, the, the narcotics officers last week, of right. all people, and they said 100 percent, 100 percent of it's coming over our southern border. This wow. is just a myth that it's coming in these other other routes. 100 percent. And it's all and it's all cartels. That's 100 percent. 
Yes, ma'am. And we've, we've got to get some guts, Maria. We've got to do what's right for the American people. This so, is ridiculous. So what happens next? I know the Senate's going to hold a <laughs> test vote on this border deal and national security spending package. President Biden claims uh, if the Republicans do not pass the Senate bill, uh, they will own the border crisis. I mean, it's really amazing to hear him actually blame President Trump. Watch this. I'm calling on Congress to pass this bill. Get it to my desk immediately. We're going to secure the border and fund these other programs. Trump and the MAGA Republicans said no, because they're afraid of Donald Trump. <laughs> afraid of Donald Trump. Every day between now and November, the American people are going to know that the only reason the border is not secure is Donald Trump and his MAGA Republican friends. Wow. No word on why he overturned all Donald Trump's security at the border on day one and week one yeah. in the Oval Office, Congressman. Catch and release, uh, you name it. He yeah. could do it right now. He could do it executive order. He could let the, he could let the Border Patrol, for goodness sakes, uh, here's, a, here's a thought. How about the Border Patrol? Let them enforce the laws that are on the books. Go down and talk to them. He hasn't gone down to the border. I have. He, this, this president, as you can see, he can hardly read through his teleprompter, Maria. It, it's, it's a sad state for this country. That's why our, our enemies no longer fear us and our friends are no longer our friends anymore because of this guy. And, and all they're doing is, is dumping these millions of people into our system. Yep. So, in fact, they can vote and they know it. And that's the only reason they're doing this. They hate this country. They hate what we stand for. They hate the traditional values that we have in this country. And they want to destroy it. Wow. We've got a bunch of anarchists in the White House and in Congress. And it's time for the American people to get off their butts on Election Day and, and decide 20 million so-called conservatives decided to stay home for whatever reason. Mm. And look, this is what we're doing. We, we are losing our country. My father fought and killed people in this country. My mama lost a brother. She flew an airplane during the Second World War. Daddy yeah. fought in the Marine Corps in the Pacific. We are throwing, we are spitting in the face of the greatest generation, Maria. Congressman, thank you. And thank your family for their service to this great nation. Tim Burchett, good to see you this morning, sir. Thank you.